Hungry Monkey never refuses an invitation to eat tacos and burritos, even if he didn't know what they are. The tacos have meat. The burritos are vegetable and cheese wrapped in a tortilla. Buen provecho. That's my mom, Maritza, and you know my dad, Luis, and my uncle, Felix, and my sister, Cecilia. Marco tells me you're feeling sad about the bandstand, George. We are sad, too. Yeah. We tried playing in the street this morning, but it was too noisy. It's worse than the subway. It was nice to have a place where people could actually hear our music. Hmm. Eating great food, talking about music, it reminded George of the last time he'd been at Pischetti's. <laughs> Do you have a place in mind, George, where people can hear us? <laughs> Isn't it great? Everyone has come to hear the band. <laughs> Pischetti's might be fine for a man with a violin who could go up to each table to be heard, but it wasn't working for a whole entire band. George and Marco decided to find a place that wasn't crowded or noisy. You live here? Oh, la perro. George really hoped the lobby would work. That way, he could hear the band all the time. So you think if we sound good in here, then the whole band will sound good? <laughs> to George's surprise, they didn't sound good. They sounded sort of muffled. Except to Hundley. George thought they'd sound less muffled at the zoo. There weren't any curtains or carpets. But the lions were a little loud. There were no lions or carpets at the railway station, and the room was big enough for a band. Too big. The high ceiling made it difficult to hear the music. The bridge reminded George of the bandstand a little too echoey. Okay, so we need a room big enough for the band, but not too big, a high ceiling, but not too high, and no lions or carpets or waiters. Hi, George. And hello, friend of George's. Hola. Are you coming to the opening tonight? Marvels of the Maya. <laughs> it's our biggest archaeological exhibit ever. There'll be food and lots of people. Bring your friends. Lots of people? Was Marco thinking what George was thinking? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> yes? Um, do you think you might want some music tonight? My family has a band. Music? Oh, fantastic idea. Seven o'clock. See you then. <laughs> it's just a little rain. I'll get you an umbrella. <laughs> I know. Let's check the attic. <laughs> I had an umbrella. <laughs> George thought the cart was wonderful. It would be perfect for carrying stuff. Huh. I really should get rid of some of this. <laughs> you want that? Oh, sure. Oh! <gasps> 
My first yellow hat. Now that's a keeper. George loved his new cart. Now all he needed was something to put in it. It was too small for a cow. It could hold a ton of coconuts, but there were no coconut trees around. That's what George could put in it. Interesting sticks. George got out of the woods, he had quite a collection. <laughs> huh? uh, hiya, George. Hey, you want to try some delicious made out of apples that I picked myself, apple cider? <laughs> uh, do you want a whole bottle? <laughs> That'll be three fifty, please. Huh? <laughs> Why don't you and Allie make a trade? That's what we used to do when we were kids. Uh -huh. Ta -da! Ta -da! Hmm, I like it, but I don't want to trade for a stick. Oh. I like the cart, though. George wasn't sure he wanted to give up his new cart. But then again, that cider was delicious. Now, just remember, kids, once you make a trade, it's for keeps. We know. Hey, and it squeaks, too. Here you go, George. By the next morning, George had finished all the cider and was missing his cart. There were so many fun things he could be doing. No! Like playing hide-and-seek. Or carrying a pet fish around. But the cart was gone. Unless he could trade it back for something. Something Allie would like. George was trying his best not to wake up the man with the yellow hat. But today was Saturday, and the man was taking George to the zoo to see a dragon. Ooh. <laughs> okay, they weren't really going to see a fire-breathing dragon. They were going to see a Komodo dragon, which is more like a giant lizard. <laughs> Morning, George. Excited about seeing a dragon? <laughs> so a subway is a huge network of trains that runs under the ground. Yeah, there's a subway right below our feet. It takes thousands of people, uh, and the occasional monkey, to places all around the city, like the zoo. And the entrance is right down those stairs. <laughs> hey, wait up! <laughs> no! George, stop! We have to... <gasps> Pay. Sorry about that, officer. It's his first time on the subway. Oh, not to worry. On my watch, monkeys ride free. Oh, thanks. George was confused. Where were the trains? <laughs> Don't worry, George. The train should be here any minute. Would you like to look at the map? <laughs> we're here at Endless Park Station and we're going to take the subway all the way to the zoo. Oh. Along the way, we'll pass the Puerto del Sol station. That's the neighborhood where Marco lives. <laughs> and Chinatown, ah. where we go for Chinese food. Reginald B. Farnsworth III. <laughs> Professional clown at your service. <laughs> oh, where are you lads headed? 
We're going to the zoo to see a Komodo dragon. Oh, no need to travel that far, my good man, when you can see a Komodo dragon, right? Here! Uh, yes, I know, it's a giraffe. It's the only animal I know how to make. <laughs> uh, toodaloo! Okay, then. Hey, George, would you like a subway map as a souvenir of your first ride? <laughs> okay, wait here. I'll be right back. George couldn't wait to get on the train, so he didn't. Oh, good, the train's here. Now where's George? George? Ah! Wait, ah! Uh, here you go. George, I'm, I'm, I'm out. Ah! Huh? Wait, my monkey's on the train. George, get off at the next station and wait for me there. Oh, boy. Care for another giraffe. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, hey there. I've never had a monkey on my train before. Would you like to see how I drive this thing? Oh, <laughs> oh maybe you'd even like to help. Whoa. <laughs> uh, from here, I control the train's speed, brakes, and doors. Okay, the workers are done and the light's green, so it's time to get moving. So let's blow the horn. Ooh. <laughs> now move the lever forward, easy, and get this train a rolling. <laughs> Our next stop, Puerto del Sol. Ah, ah. <laughs> Great job. You can drive my train anytime. Bye now. Ah. Ooh. Ah, ah, ah. Few things captured the attention of a curious little monkey. I wonder what this could be. <laughs> oh, okay. It's from my mother. Happy birthday, love mom. Oh, that's so sweet. Is today your birthday? It is. And George and I are going to celebrate. I'm late for my appointment. Hold on to this for me, will you, George? I'll be back at 7, and then we'll celebrate. Bye, George. If it was my birthday, I'd have a party. You want to have a party? A surprise party? Even better. You know how I throw a party? It's as easy as A, B, C, D. All you need is A, an apartment, B, your buddies, C, a cake, and D, decorations. A, B, C, D. That didn't sound hard at all. <laughs> the man with the yellow hat would be back at seven. George had only four hours to get the party ready. He already had an apartment. and the man's buddies were listed in this book. So that took care of A and B, but George still needed C and D, a cake and decorations. You want me to invite the people in his address book? All of them? <laughs> okay. <laughs> seven? Oh, you mean seven o'clock. Got it. Since you invited me to your party, 
I'm gonna give you my special all fruit frozen cake on the house. <laughs> Just pick a size, Giorgio. Hmm. A big party needed a big cake. Ah. <laughs> the big one. Surprise. <laughs> Looks like quite a celebration. Is it a birthday? <laughs> yeah. Say, I could blow that up for you. It'd make a great decoration. <laughs> Just pick a size. Normal, huge, or jumbo madness. <laughs> jumbo madness it is. George, everyone's coming. I just had to say yellow hat, and they all said yes. <laughs> oh, I'll take that stuff upstairs. Maybe you want to get a stepladder to hang the star? <laughs> hmm. George thought the small ladder looked about right. Five o'clock. Oh, I gotta get back to work. Hunley can stay, though. See you at the party. <laughs> George had picked too wide of a cake. It wouldn't fit in the freezer. Luckily, it was cold out on the balcony. That took care of C, cake. Now for D, decorations. George had also picked too big of a poster. And a too small ladder. No secret that monkeys like cars. All kinds of cars. <laughs> Ready? Uh -huh. Get set and go! almost wipe out at the derby. I was coming down the hill, accelerating to maximum gravitational pull, and then I lost a wheel. Huh? I think Bill is talking about a soapbox derby, George. It's where kids build and race their own cars. Ah. And there's a derby today on Boysenberry Hill. Oh. Check it out. Ooh. Bill, that is one nice looking vehicle. Did you build it yourself? I sure did. It's got rear wheel steering, caliper brakes, and a parachute. You have a parachute in there? It pays to be prepared. <laughs> Me too. I want to build a car like that and almost wipe out on a hill. <laughs> you kids want to enter the soapbox derby? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm going, yes. If you're serious, then you'll need the rule book. It pretty much tells you everything you need and how to put it together. Hey, you want some help? I was a pretty mean derby racer in my day. Sorry, but that's against the rules. Contestants have to build their own cars. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, you're welcome to borrow anything you see around the house. Ooh, heh. Ah. <laughs> you can keep that. I don't need it anymore. The race starts at 2 p.m. sharp. See you there. Uh -huh. Bye. Bill was right. The book could tell them everything. 
If only they knew how to read. The car? Uh, something, something, car. Something, car. Uh, this book needs more pictures. Uh -huh. A picture. This looked like something they'd need, the part to sit in. They also needed that, a steering wheel, just like on the man's car. And wheels for the car to sit on. Hey, George, you see how that thingy there is stopping the wheel? I bet that's a brake. Ah! A brake. Maybe this book could show them how to build a car. <laughs> oh, yeah! Let's just follow the pictures. One, two, three, and four. Uh, <laughs> Let's go look in our barn. Grandpa has all kinds of stuff in there. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah, good idea. Let's take the wagon. Maybe we'll find car stuff uh -huh, on the way. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oops. Wasn't the wagon right here? Yeah, these flowers will look beautiful in that old kayak. Hiya, Mrs. Quint. Guess what? George and me, we're building a car so we can race in a race. All we need are car parts. Well, if you see any car parts lying around, just help yourself. <laughs> ah, must have left my gloves inside. Ah! The broken boat and the car body looked a lot alike. <laughs> They're almost totally exactly the same. And, 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 and look it. It already has two seats. One for you and one for me. Ah, ah. <laughs> 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 